Applying the USA principle is a good approach in any automation project. As suggested previously, it may turn out that automation of the process is unnecessary or cannot be cost justified after the process has been simplified. If automation seems a feasible solution to improving productivity, quality, or other measure of performance, then the following 10 strategies provide roadmap to search for these improvements. These 10 strategies seem as relevant and appropriate today as they did in 1980. They are referred to as strategies for automation and process improvement because some of them are applicable whether the process is a candidate for automation or just for simplification. Strategy number 1, Specialization of Operations. The first strategy involves the use of special purpose equipment designed to perform one operation with the greatest possible efficiency. This is analogous to the specialization of labor, which is employed to improve labor productivity. Strategy number 2, Combined Operations Production occurs as a sequence of operations. Complex parts may require dozens or even hundreds of processing steps. The strategy of combined operations involves reducing the number of distinct production machines or workstations through which the part must be routed. This is accomplished by performing more than one operation at a given machine, thereby reducing the number of separate machines needed. Since each machine typically involves a setup, setup time can usually be saved by this strategy. Material handling effort, non-operation time, waiting time, and manufacturing lead time are all reduced. Strategy number 3, Simultaneous Operations A logical extension of the combined operations strategy is to simultaneously perform the operations that are combined at one workstation. In effect, two or more processing, or assembly. Operations are being performed simultaneously on the same work part, thus reducing total processing time. Strategy number 4, Integration of Operations. This strategy involves linking several workstations together into a single integrated mechanism, using automated work handling devices to transfer parts between stations. In effect, this reduces the number of separate work centers through which the product must be scheduled. With more than one workstation, several parts can be processed simultaneously, thereby increasing the overall output of the system. Strategy number 5, Increased Flexibility This strategy attempts to achieve maximum utilization of equipment for job shop and medium volume situations by using the same equipment for a variety of parts or products. It involves the use of programmable or flexible automation. Prime objectives are to reduce setup time and programming time for the production machine. This normally translates into lower manufacturing lead time and less work in process. Strategy number 6, Improved Material Handling and Storage A great opportunity for reducing non-productive time exists in the use of automated material handling and storage systems. Typical benefits include reduced work in process, shorter manufacturing lead times, and lower labor costs. Strategy number 7, Online Inspection Inspection for quality of work is traditionally performed after the process is completed. This means that any poor quality product has already been produced by the time it is inspected. Incorporating inspection into the manufacturing process permits corrections to the process as the product is being made. This reduces scrap and brings the overall quality of the product closer to the nominal specifications intended by the designer. Strategy number 8, Process Control and Optimization This includes a wide range of control schemes intended to operate the individual processes and associated equipment more efficiently. By this strategy, the individual process times can be reduced and product quality can be improved. Strategy number 9, Plant operations control. Whereas the previous strategy is concerned with the control of individual manufacturing processes, this strategy is concerned with control at the plant level. It attempts to manage and coordinate the aggregate operations in the plant more efficiently. Its implementation involves a high level of computer networking within the factory. Strategy number 10 Computer Integrated Manufacturing, in short, CIM. Taking the previous strategy one level higher, SIM involves extensive use of computer systems, databases, and networks throughout the enterprise to integrate the factory operations and business functions. 
the 10 strategies constitute a checklist of possibilities for improving the production system through automation or simplification. They should not be considered mutually exclusive. For most situations, multiple strategies can be implemented in one improvement project. You will be seeing these strategies implemented in the many systems that will be discussed throughout this whole course on automation and CIM. Check the complete playlist. Links in the description. Thank you.